Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. We're kicking into May. Oh, baby. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It's always better to ask questions than to make an assumption. Have the courage to ask questions and to as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to that question, you won't have to make the assumption anymore because you'll know the truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 429, NASDAQ off 193, S&P's down 51. Gold, gold contract trading down $54.60 at 2303.10. You got silver down a dollar to twenty-six dollars sixty-three cents an ounce. Light three crude down a buck, eighty-one dollars seventy-four cents a barrel. Copper, copper off, off eleven and a half pennies at four fifty-six a pound. Notes and bonds, ten-year note down sixteen ticks, trading one hundred seven fourteen. The thirty-year down twenty-four at one thirteen twenty-seven. And king dollar, king dollar is trading up six hundred and thirty ticks, one hundred six to ten. Euro 106, yen 157, British pound 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Let's go look at the SPY first because I want to see where we are with the volume and where we're coming into and how we're coming into these bars. So if we take a look at the SPY, the SPY has done 45 million shares out here. Yeah, not even close. So the high of the low of Thursday was 504.27. Now we've hit, we haven't even hit that yet, which is pretty amazing actually. So we've hit 504.40 40 cents rather, 504.40 40 cents. And you know, we're going to have a contraction of volume out here today. Now, yesterday we had light volume on the way up. Today, bottom line, you'll have more volume than than yesterday, but it's still going to be light volume because we're going into 69 million shares and there's no way we're going to do 69 million. We get 45 million right now. We get into the queues. So what do we have with the queues? And we get the Fed meeting. Well, they're meeting today. Statement tomorrow at 2 o'clock. News conference at 2.30. We go into the queues. The queues get 24 million right now. And that is a big contraction of volume, you know, because we're coming into 57 million. So that's not even close. We hit 427.12. Now, the highs of the lows is 425.32. Amazon. Let's go to Amazon. So Amazon's going to be the big dog coming out after the close out here today. The low for the year is 101. The high is 189. They are going to be looking to take in $142 billion to the top line, $0.82 cents to the bottom line. And if we take a look at this setup... Okay, so let's see what we got here. Put this on a weekly first. Then I'm going to put it on a monthly. So I put Amazon on a weekly. Oh, yeah. This is trying to bust out. Interesting, man. Okay, cool. Now let's do the monthly. Yeah, this is heavy, man. This is, this is trying to bust out. Okay, so now let me see what we got here. We get a small expansion. What was that? 1.6 million shares. We're only at 800,000. That's not good. Yeah. So what you have here, folks, if you're watching Tiger TV, the last two highs that were out there, the one, 188.65 plus the 188.10, that brings us back to November of 2021. In July of 2021, the volume is much heavier, man. So that's saying that you might have a tough time busting out. That's what it's coming down to because, you know, we, yeah, we only get five. You get 800. It's half the amount of volume. So that's going to get intriguing coming into the close, man. Not coming into the close, after the close. Notes and bonds. Let's go take a look at the note and bond market out here. So note and bond market, we're basically at lows. 
Well, and we're not at lows, actually. We, we hit uh, one, we're 107.14. You, you got 1 1.8 million contracts. Now, we're going at 2.5 million. So we don't have a rejection of lower price yet, but that low that was established out here last Thursday, um, 2.5 million. You know, so you just don't have the sellers just yet. Now, the bottom line is that you certainly don't have buyers either. But right now, let's just say this thing still wants to turn around. And if it's going to turn around, when are we going to have it? We're going to have it tomorrow <laughs> in a monster way. If we do go look at this gets interesting here, because if you look at the TLT, the, that's the 20 year plus. The TLT is basically holding, you know, that, that bottomed out last Thursday also. You know, you needed more volume yesterday. You got decent volume, but, you know, yesterday we were up on 29 million, you're down on 18 today. So this looks to me that we are making a bottom here. Now, let's go to the culprit. The culprit is the good old US dollar. This thing is looking to go to 107, which is a problem for the S&Ps as well as gold. So we take a look at it. Yeah, it's on. the last high was established, 106, 517. And then if you go on the other side of the chart, meaning six months ago, 107, 111 is the number out here. And it looks to me like that's what we're going to get. Uh, the real question is, is that does it hang tough up there? What does it do when it gets up there? If you want to see a, a large move <laughs> and the cocoa business, folks, okay, this is pretty amazing. Look, check this out. Coco was trading 11,000 about a week ago, and we're down to 7,700 today. Yeah, we got to 11,722, went sideways for four days, and then just got taken to the cleaners. So we know how this goes. You take the elevator up, no, the escalator up, and the elevator down, right? <laughs> uh, it's, it's pretty amazing that you can have the, the same product that traded literally 10 days ago at 11,700, Trade today at 7,700, and right now we're at 9,200. Pretty wild. Stay right there, folks. Come right back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. We have the Dow Industrials right now. Trading down 420, NASDAQ off 191, S&P's off 51. We'll come right back.